Six things FEMA doesn't want you to know. Now, everybody keeps asking about what FEMA is, what they do, what everything. Share with everyone. Let's get into it. The Federal Emergency Management Agency was created in 1979 for emergency management and civil defense. Since then, we have seen FEMA respond to countless disasters throughout the United States and its fair share of mismanagements and failures. The FEMA trailers are toxic. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina, FEMA ordered the purchase of 120,000 trailers and mobile homes to provide. The problem was that many people suffered nosebleeds, headaches, and respiratory infections. The trailers also often had a strong chemical smell inside of them. As it turned out, the formaldehyde levels were off the charts in these trailers. The real issue is bet link between formaldehyde, mobile homes, and trailers is well known. Still, the government didn't regulate it because trailers and mobile homes were considered temporary housing. FEMA's financial assistance is dramatically unfair. FEMA's own internal investigations have revealed that low-income households will receive much less financial aid than higher income households. Now this is true even when the value of the repair cost is factored into the equation. The problem is that when poor neighborhoods are not allotted the funding to rebuild, the people who once called it home will likely abandon the area to rebuild their lives elsewhere. They may not have enough food and water for you and your family after a disaster. Hurricane Katrina was a master class in what not to do as a federal government when faced with a massive hurricane. FEMA had supply failures that made the aftermath of the storm so much worse for everyone caught in it. Even though they pre-positioned some supplies, it was not nearly enough for the number of people who actually needed them. FEMA has severe staffing shortages too. If there is no constant throughout 2022 and 2023, is that everyone in every industry is having difficulty finding and retaining employees. The same is true for organizations like FEMA. The problem FEMA faces is that disasters are becoming more frequent and the personnel required must have specific skills and qualifications. Unfortunately, many people currently looking for work don't have the qualifications that FEMA is looking for and they can't be quickly obtained. FEMA spends too much money and time responding to disasters that the state could easily respond to. FEMA is only supposed to respond to disasters that the states involved cannot handle on their own. But unfortunately, the reality is that FEMA has a habit of spending time and money and resources responding to disasters where they're not needed. FEMA's disaster financial assistance will certainly be too little and very late. After a disaster, the clock is ticking to begin repairing the damage done to private homes. Unfortunately, every hour and every day that pass without starting the necessary repairs results in the problems caused by the disaster piling on and increasing exponentially. Now, I hope y'all like this video and don't worry, the next video is on the FEMA signs and markings. AP out.